What we're doing here is we're, we're pulling what you've all been doing uh, in small groups in both of the two sections together. What we're gonna do next for searching and sorting, you're gonna be working with arrays, and once we get that uh, language competency under our belts, then you're gonna switch over and start using this data. One of the most important ways to let the students know the goals, how will we know we are competent, how will we know we got there, is tell them where we're going. Tell them up front. Describe the end point to them, not in 40,000 words, but tell them this is the end point. This is what we're trying to get done today. Start working on searching and sorting. It'll be like we've done before. You got a demo program, you got a worksheet that you're going to answer questions that help you understand it, and you're going to start adding content to the program. So we'll start doing that. And before long, you're going to be loading up arrays with 100,000 items in it, sorting them, and then searching for them. So this is some. Uh, big scale stuff we're going to be doing. And then periodically as we go, get some sort of a feedback from the kids, not written tests, but get some feedback from them to let me know. We're okay, we are okay. We're, yeah, we're where we should be and recognize when you know, maybe there needs to be another way to explain this. Maybe we need to stop right here and spend a little bit of time. Where you go with it next is how do I make this information useful to other people? And other people, AP Statistics could use this. You, in your other courses, you're doing this already. AP Environmental Science, you're, this is going to come up, the, the, the greenhouse gas. I mean, this, we want to know how can we take this stuff and give educational value to it, to other uh, courses here and even in other high schools and middle schools and elementary schools in Knox County. Okay. What I tend to do is have them critique the their work and comment. To do. In programming we have these things called comments and so one of the hardest things for the kids to do is write code from scratch. Just sit down without any of the software tools that help you. The very end uh, we've got a couple of students are going to take a program and show you what you're going to have for starter code. They're going to show you code that works that'll open a file, read it in, pull out some data from it and build arrays, which is the next thing we learned, arrays. But they're going to show you what this code looks like and to you it'll be a black box. You can just use it. But then you will take it and do other things with it. Okay, well then first of all, I'm going to turn it over to Keyshawn and Jacob. All right, so um, as you guys know, we've been working on the Draker software. It's a system where we can look at um, throughout a variety of high schools and their solar panels and um, what they're outputting, what kind of power output they're getting versus um, the potential they have to get, so on and so forth. So as you see here, you can select our school, Karn, Central, Bearden, there's a lot. So I'll have them write code from scratch and then go ahead and port it into so our system that immediately starts pointing out errors. But what I'll do then is say now it's very important that you go back to the original work you wrote and write in there what was wrong comment the code so that you look at it a month, two months later when you're studying for a high stakes test and you have critiqued yourself and you know, oh, that's right, I won't do that again. One of the like downsides of this software is that all these things are like picked for us and I mean that's good and all but we can't uh, make our own graphs from this software so that's what we've been doing for like output files. We can make our own data from that. Sometimes I have peer reviews where it can be set up to where a peer will review their work before it comes to me for a grade. But our system doesn't have the capability of actually reporting those values. And what helps with that, and also for the assessments I give, is to give them a rubric. Yeah, this is what the data file looks like. Um, and so this is the file we've been processing with, processing with file operations, those of um, us that are working on that. Because the kids, um, if they the know how they're being assessed, it takes that fear factor um, off. You know, Most of these kids are more than willing, if you tell them, this is what I'm looking for, to do just that or certainly the vast majority of them. So I give a rubric for almost everything we do, the little tiny daily assessments where we're assessing, or the bigger ones, and so they see in advance, this is what I'm gonna be graded on, and even in some scenarios, let the kids critique each other with the rubric before they turn it into me. We ran into a couple problems initially because um, you know, our code isn't good at realizing that, hey, the first line across the top here is are just titles. There aren't actually numbers. They're not meaningful. So we uh, fix their code to where it will disregard the header lines, and that way it knows that hey, this value is useless. We need the other stuff. So Do I ever have to have students reflect on their behavior? Yeah. It hasn't come up a lot, and I think some of that is just how does the teacher uh, start the class off the first week or two of school? Now, certainly there can be uh, a class where you're going to return to that pretty regularly on let's get together on our behavior here. 
But uh, modeling respect, treating the kids with respect, uh, most of the conflicts, the behavior issues I've had in two high schools are being where the kids felt like they've been disrespected or the teacher feels like he or she's been disrespected. Okay. This would be advanced stuff to a lot of people. They do not understand, most folks don't understand the technology where, that you're learning about and that you're actually trying to take and do something with. You're taking and going somewhere else with it.